Hi all, so welcome to today's tutorial. In previous tutorial, we have seen how, how the rotation works and the rotation which we implemented, they were the Euler angle rotation. So there is some issue with that rotation. So we'll just check what the issue in that rotation and why uh, in complex scenario, we don't use Euler rotation because we have something called gimbal lock. So first we will see what is gimbal lock. So okay so in this video you can see first when we in gimbal lock so it is dependent on three axis x y and z and they are actually connected with each other so let's imagine this one uh the inner circle it is x the second circle it is y and the third circle is z we can uh, rotate them so when you will rotate z it will also rotate y and x that is why when we were multiplying them together here so even if you will rotate z it will also affect x and y even if you are not rotating around them this is first second issue is like they are not independent uh, like this is not independent second issue is like because of this dependency, if uh, if you will rotate one side and it become aligned with some other side, it. So let me show you the example here actually. So now, right now we are just rotating right like this individual axis, but as soon as this axis, the inner one, this is in the same plane with the third one. Now, if we will rotate first or third, it will give you the same result. So this is what we call the gimbal lock. That is why like in lots of the solution, uh, people try to avoid the gimbal lock. So whenever something is, you know, uh, the alignment is about to do the same. So they will do some cranky stuff. So one of the implement, uh, like one of the implementation, how we can solve this uh, rotation thing. So instead of Euler angle rotation, uh, people go with the quaternions. Quaternion is really heavy to implement, but I will help you out. <laughs> okay, so first thing is the so when you are rotating like in the URL and Euler angle, you are rotating one thing uh, uh, around x axis, y axis, and z axis, right? So in short, when you will combine them together, you will always get a line around which you can rotate the same, uh, you know, same same object so let me have an example like this so if i will rotate this uh like this in x axis like this uh like x45 and y45 45 so to have this net angle i can always find a line around which i can you know if i will rotate this around that line it will give you this rotation so instead of x y and z i just have to find one line or the one vector around which i can if i will rotate it will directly give you this uh, this rotation so uh, for this uh, implementation in quaternion we just need uh, to have that vector and we will rotate the uh, the actor around that vector so this is the euler uh, euler rotation is sorry the quaternion rotation is so uh, so there are two parts to it one is the angle so let's imagine if uh, so one is the given vector another one is angle so the theta is the angle around that vector how much angle you do want to rotate let's imagine i am taking uh, 90 degree so the vector which is given you will just rotate that in 90 degree quite simple yes right now just bear it with me i will try my best to uh, to guide you and uh, i promise like in the end of this video you will be able to understand it fully okay so the second thing is uh, okay so uh, there are two things one is the constant part so it it the constant part is cost cost theta by 2 so the, the, the angle which you do want to rotate the object, just divide it by 2 and calculate the cost. We will call it Q0 and it will be the constant. 
in our code we will uh, uh, put q0 as w next is just the vector multiply the given vector so in our case it is x y z this vector just multiply it with x theta by 2 these are the two things so the a vector which you will get after multiply it will be like the first component the x component will be x sin theta by 2 second component will be y sin theta by 2 and z sin theta by 2 so to calculate the rotation so this is the matrix actually which is real, which looks complex and it is actually so we will just implement and see uh, like how we can code it inside our uh, coding rider so let's do it it seems complex and once you are you are here you just have to multiply this matrix with your uh, given actor location and that's it voila so you just have to multiply with xyz like we have done in the previous tutorial and it should it should work okay so let's see uh, so i will just copy paste the so first uh, i would request you to actually uh, like try on your own if you are able to get this then we will see how we can do it here so in previous we were using the m rotation so i will duplicate it and i will just copy this m quaternion rotation and this one will be m euler rotation Euler rotation. Okay, let me. Okay, Alt Enter, then a definition. Okay, so first thing is you need to calculate the cos theta by two. So I will uh, call this constant W here we were calling it as q0 or actually let's keep it q0 so it will make more sense to you f math cos and we have to modify our angle uh, rotator okay so in rotation we need to have two variable actually not the rotator part one is the vector so f vector a vector vector uh, so around it so this is the vector around which you do want to rotate so rotation vector axis and comma flat float angle alt and touch on the definition let me delete this okay so here uh, we will convert degree to radian and we will divide this angle by two and it will give you q0 next thing is like here next thing is like sine theta by two so we will duplicate it and instead of cos it will be sine okay and it will be a float float it's it just a constant so s just denoted with s sine value and you have to multiply the sine value with the vector so first this vector need to be normalized because we uh, because we don't need the magnitude of it so just dot okay so first we will convert it to the m vector to m vector Now we have our beloved m vector and we will normalize it. Go ahead, normalize vector and we will multiply it with sine value. Okay. It will give you the m vector. M vector. So normalized vector. So this is the vector so we have got q0 so this is q0 and we have uh, so this is the vector so the first component this q1 is the x of this and q2 is y of this normalized vector and q3 is z of this uh, vector 
so i will call this normalize vector okay so i'm just copy i will just copy paste my matrix okay so i am just replacing okay instead of this we will use this replace all and instead of w h i will use q0 place replace okay q okay it was q0 so let me paste it manually okay so if you will see carefully these two matrix are same this one and this one so this is 1 minus 1 minus 2 multiply with the q2 so the q2 is y and it is the square so that is why i'm just multiplying you can also use the uh, function i'm just multiplying just for the more clarity minus 2 q3 square so this is q3 square so this is just the same matrix which we are using here and here we will just uh, convert it to matrix so const m matrix quaternion matrix is equals to quaternion values comma 3 comma 3 next we need so we just need to multiply it with our position vector uh, so we can easily get the position vector from here to matrix and convert them to matrix so this is const m matrix uh, vector location matrix okay so this is our actor matrix this is quaternion matrix so the rotation will be rotate const auto rotated matrix will be the quaternion matrix into the actor location matrix matrix and voila we just need to set this matrix and this should do our task this this thing is this thing should work perfectly now one thing which uh, actually just for the visualization i will just draw a vector so i will draw this vector normalized one uh, okay give me a second let me draw this vector so okay let me rewrite this so i do want to get this vector first dot to sorry uh first i will multiply it with 500 so we can visualize it or thousand dot dot draw point or vector draw vector so what we are doing here we are just drawing this vector so the line around which we do want to rotate and let's see if it is working fine or not let me compile okay 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 it is giving us error because we have changed the uh, name of this rotation so instead of m rotation rotate compile now compile it again okay 
okay now rotate I'm caught in in rotation so first let's see uh, is it working around X axis and we will increase by one degree and it is working fine and you can see we have the X axis a second let me stop it because it is very heavy because I'm drawing it uh, on the tick function so you can see it is working fine it is rotating around X axis perfectly now if I will rotate it around X Y so the rotation it should give is like quicksilver you can see now this is the angle this is the vector and it is rotating around this line this is working fine what if we will rotate it uh, in the side of 111 and let's increase the angle size to compile okay this is working perfectly and you can easily visualize it because when we were using uh, like uh, X, Y, Z rotation in simple uh, URL angle, the rotation was same. So right now it is running very slowly. Reason being is we are using our debug function and it is trying to draw, uh, you know, in the tech function. So what I will do, I will just remove it. So it should be good. Compile and play. Now it is fast and this is the same rotation. This is working perfectly. <laughs> okay, so this was it for today. I hope you learn uh, a lot from this series. I I think like we have, I have covered everything which I was thinking uh, to cover uh, in mathematics. So this was all the uh, essential concept which you should need to know in 3D. So thank you and have a nice day. If you haven't subscribed my channel, do it. If you have any doubt, just comment it below. If you do uh, want to have some tutorials on some specific uh, or you do have some request around game or uh, you do want to build some game, just let me know if uh, we, uh, I'm, I'm not sure like uh, we can you know, start a game together. So thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.